Today we're going to make this little baby shoe. This is like a little slipper. Um, I used to make these all the time, and I'll be honest, I'm, I'm, I've had to practice several times this morning. I just got to get back into the swing of it, I guess. But uh, this is just a, a simple little slipper, which I think will be good for beginners. Um, I think, my personal opinion, anything small that you have to sew is difficult for anybody. I mean, it's just sewing something so tiny is really difficult. This is the first one <laughs> that I made this morning, which is supposed to be for a newborn, and it just, it doesn't look exactly right. I decided to go with a, a bigger size to make it easier for the video, and um, the things you're going to need for each shoe, now remember, I've already sewn one, so this is for each shoe. You're going to need one piece of interfacing, um, an inside piece and an outside piece for the top, two pieces for the heel, two pieces for the sole, and some thin elastic, which this I think is probably about a quarter of an inch. So the first thing that we need to do, <laughs> when I made this one, I had intended to have the sole be black, but um, I had so much difficulty pinning that thing on that I lost track of what I was doing and I ended up with the black lining, the black part of the sole on the inside. So that's how I'm going to do this one too. But anyway, um, the first thing we need to do is take our interfacing and iron it on. And I cut this interfacing slightly smaller than <coughs> the sole because I wanted it to um, fit inside there and not have any hanging off. So, the next thing that I want to do is, I'm not going to do any turning on this sole, so I'm going to just tack this, these onto each other with wrong sides facing. I don't know if you can see that, but I just tacked all the way around it, just to keep it in place. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is put right sides together on this heel. Now I'm going to stitch along here about a quarter of an inch. Okay, now that I've, I've sewn this together along here, I'm going to turn it. I find it easier to iron this seam out before I turn this over. It just makes it easier to line everything up. It does for me anyway. press it again now we need to create a casing to put the elastic in and I'm resting my um, presser foot right up against the edge of this fabric to give me a guide Okay, so I've created the casing for the elastic. Now, this it's so small, and you really don't want to make that um, any thicker. That is, I don't have a safety pin that will go through it. But when I did this earlier, hopefully it'll work out again. I was able to feed this elastic through just like it is. So I've got that through there, and I've shown this in other videos, but if you haven't seen them, what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do it on camera, I'm trying to make this video as, as quick as possible, but get as much detail in it as I can. I'm going to, with my sewing machine, just go right along the edge to hold that elastic in there, and I'm not cutting it until I'm done um, with the, the, this end. Okay, so you see I've just tacked that on there so it doesn't move. Don't mind my tacky fingernails. Okay, and I'm going to pull this a little bit until I've got it where I want it. 
and I think that's about a good size and if you need to know measurements I measured the elastic to about five inches so you need a five inch piece of elastic now I'm gonna go over to the machine and I'm gonna tack this end and then we'll begin constructing the shoe okay so we've got our little heel piece done now what we need to do is connect it to this um, the toe part of the shoe and I'll say when I did this first one I ended up having to trim when I got this connected to the sole and if I have to do that I'll show it on here just like I said I, I think I'm really out of practice with these um, shoes okay so with the right sides facing together if you want the the heel of this to match this then you put them with the same one facing together y'all see I can't even talk today I'm going to go ahead and pin it in here because I had a little trouble with it when I tried to pin it after I put this top piece on. This gets kind of tricky right here. Okay, now we want to put the top, the other part of the toe. See, I told you, it's just really small sewing is not, it's not easy to sew small things. So I'm taking my finger and kind of holding that out so that it's, you know, not shifting or bunching up. Okay, so we're going to go over to the machine and very carefully sew straight across here. <coughs> now this is what you have after you've sewn that line across the top there and then you just want to turn this out this way. This is supposedly for six month old baby. I, I think it's kind of, the size seems kind of large to me, but I haven't had a baby in 13 years and, you know, I really wasn't paying attention to my grandbaby's foot sizes, but anyhow. Now, this is what we have. And see, you want to leave plenty of room in there to get a baby's fat little foot. That looks a little tight, but it may work. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my Kenmore and take a tight zigzag, make a tight zigzag all around this just to keep all this fabric together. So, I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Before I... <clears throat> Before I went around with this tight zigzag, I kind of fitted the sole onto the shoe and I felt like this part was a little wide, so I did trim it a little bit. So you may want to do that um, before you uh, do any construction. So I think, yeah, that's the way we want to do it. Okay, the, the thing with this pattern, and I'm, I'm fairly sure that I got this pattern for free online and it had different sizes. I purchased a lot from Etsy, but I'm not sure that's it. This is what the pattern looks like. There's no markings. There's There was no instructions that I had. I may have had them at the time, but um, you really need to find the midpoint for the sole and the constructed top of the shoe, because it makes it um, really difficult to line those things up if you don't. And so I probably should have gone ahead and did that ahead of time, but I'm telling you now so that you can do it. These are just for example. I don't plan on giving them or um, anything like that. I just wanted to show how to construct the shoe. Okay. 
so I'm going to start, see these are so tricky, um, I'm going to start pinning, but I need to make sure that everything is laying flat when I do that, and to pin these, you really need to pin along this edge, you, you can't really go in like this because it's not going to work out, I, I tried it, trust me. So this is where if you have a machine that has speed on it that you can control, turn it down to the lowest speed and absolutely take your time with this. Okay, so this is what we have after we've sewn all around the edges. Maybe you can see that, I don't know. Now I did the video on sewing on the round and with this you, you can't really do that clipping and you just have to work those rounded edges out when you get it turned. So this is what I have once I've sewn everything. So there's our little baby shoe. You can see it actually kind of looks better from the side than the front. You can see a little bit of difference in these. I had a little trouble getting the edge rounded in this one, and this one looks pretty good. So it just takes some practice. They, you know, um, like I said, I used to just whip these suckers out like it wasn't anything, and I, I've been out of practice for a while, so I really need to get practicing with this. Um, I highly recommend marking off that the uh, pattern, you know, fold this, mark the center of the heel, and then mark it when you cut your fabric. Do the same thing with the sole and the top part you would do after you've sewn the, this part to the top and mark that so that you will have everything marked and you know where to place everything because these are a little crooked across here. I don't know if that's my sewing or what it is, but like I said, I need more practice. I have some little boot patterns that are, I think, are more simple than this. They're a lot easier to do because it's bigger pieces and easier to work with. So I may um, test out doing those again and then I'll do a video for those because they're a lot of fun. They're cute little kind of Ugg boot looking shoes. But anyway, yeah. Practice, 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 and then make you some cute little baby shoes for, you know, you can gift them or if you have a baby, that'll be fun. I am going to have another grandchild in July, hopefully a grandson, keeping my fingers crossed. And I will be doing, <clears throat> my next video will be um, hopefully a little baby boy outfit. I looked some up and I had a request from Millie to do that. So I'll be working on that. And these shoes can be unisex. It's just based on the fabric. You know, whatever fabric you use and use it for a boy or a girl. And they're not really meant to be walked in. So these are pretty much baby sizes for babies or infants that aren't walking yet. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.